People living in low elevations could see the kind of snow they haven't seen for years. And so many people are preparing by making sure they have essential items. ABC 10's Kurt Rivera is in Calaveras County tonight. Here at Angels Camp, people see snow here from time to time, but the amount of snow predicted this time might be a little different. Inside Angels Food Market along Highway 4, cash registers are beeping as customers like Leah Whittier are buying, getting ready for snow. It's a big deal. It's a big deal, and it's the talk all over town right now. It truly is, yeah. Just down the road in Calaveras Lumber, snow shovels, snow, and ice melter are hot sellers. Sean Ryan picked up a snow shovel as well as paint for his retirement home. We're just going to be hunkering down inside painting uh, some of the bathrooms inside the house. General Manager Jody Brixey says business is picking up. Definitely the pipe insulation, faucet covers, and ice melt have been the most tarps, tarps as well. And of course, traveling on snowy roads can be tricky, especially for those not used to it. Retired college economics professor Francine Feldbruggi has lived up here 22 years. Her advice equals common sense. Go slow, <laughs> you know, or stay home. First stay home if you don't have to go. And AAA agrees. Give yourself room between the cars in front of you. Uh, and that's because roads are going to be slick. Other tips, make sure you have good windshield wipers and plenty of fluid. Turn on your lights or even your hazard lights if visibility is poor. If you do start skidding, turn into the direction of the skid. And what if your car gets stuck? Be prepared with an unusual tip. Have kitty litter or sand in your car. The reason for that is if you're parked and things freeze over, I mean, you can put some of that behind the wheels of your car tire, or behind the wheels of your car, rather, to get some traction. It could help you out. Bottom line, be prepared. Don't get caught off guard and get stuck in the snow. And great advice, Kurt. And also keeping an emergency kit handy is a really good idea. It includes extra clothes, blankets, water, and that ice scraper for mm -hmm. your car. <laughs> well, coming up, we'll have more on how schools are preparing for a possible snow day. And don't forget to download our free ABC 10 app to get the latest news and weather alerts sent straight to your phone. This will really come in handy if you're out on the roads or lose power at home.